so that later on they can improve their lives. Uh, and so I, I believe that this topic this morning, uh, I may not have the experience and the uh, expertise with this with the gentleman who here with me beside me but i'd also would like to share that inequality in terms of uh, i'd like to probably read this just to yeah um i'm no expert and i mean in kopo kinabahan ako kanina baka bigyan ako hinga ako ng statistics pero hindi lang naman po ang uh, pilipinas ang may problema sa inequality when it comes to uh uh, income, well, at least income inequality. In California, it started in 2021 that we have a gap already between high and low income families in California. Um, it is actually among the largest in the nation, exceeding all but three other states. So I don't have the latest statistics or data, but uh, families at the top of income distribution earn 11 times more than families at the bottom. So, kung naaalala ko po, no, nung ako'y nag-aaral pa ng, uh, dito sa Pilipinas, uh, ay may tinatawag tayong caste system. Uh, tama po ba? Okay. Aakala natin, pagkalipat namin sa Amerika, eh, ma- hindi na namin ito mararamdaman. Pero ang katotohanan ay existing din. Okay? I guess uh, the difference would be in terms of productivity, just like what they were discussing discussing now, what, what we are discussing right now, is that productivity is quite high. When you, when, but the thing is, there is an emphasis on productivity, and I believe that, because in the private sector, or even the government sector, uh, there's a difference between the two in the United States. I would like to speak at least in California, because I'm also the advisory chairperson of the Los Angeles County Filipino American Employees Association. And my husband is the president of the organization. And that's linked with the LA County, which is the which is a private institute. They are given salary increments every year, even if there's no uh, increase in job description or more job uh, 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 agenda or given to them, it's automatic that they are given an increase in their salary every year. In the private sector, it is uh, mandatory that you're given an evaluation based on performance. So I think that kind of improve, that, I'm sorry, you po ang improve or nagbibigay ng incentive sa mga empleyado para mag-sikap uh, at magbigay uh, ng mas malaking uh, contribution sa uh, kanilang mga kumpanya. So, there's a difference between the private sector and the government sector. The government sector, employees would probably feel that as long as I do my job, even if it's at it is minimum, then I will be given my, 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 my uh, salary. So those two is what I can share, and probably uh, in comparison to what we have or what we're facing right now, uh, something to ponder on or probably uh, look into. Uh, but in terms of the income inequality, I don't think it. Kami ngayon sa California ay nararamdaman din namin ito, kasi ang bigyan ka ng increase ngayon, tumaas na ang sweldo, lahat, bibigyan ng taas ang sweldo, whether you are uh, in the private sector or you are in the management, administrative, it doesn't make any difference, you are all given uh, an increase. But, ang aming uh, uh, bilihin ay tumataas din. Pero, ang may pagmamalaki naman, naman namin siguro, is that we try our very best, especially, I would speak for California, uh, yung pagkain, hindi naman yan tumataas. Uh, lahat, kung ano ang kinakain ng minimum age earner, yan din ang kinakain ng mga mas malaki ang kinikita katulad ng mga professionals, nurses, professional nurses, attorneys, or uh, accountants, pare-pareho. Kasi, uh, 
guess I, I, I you know, that that's that's one thing that I, I could be proud of. Sana yun nga, ang, kung tayo ngayon ay nag-aapila sa ating uh, Senado, yun ang pag-alalan. Kung paano na, kung tumaas man, huwag sana sa uh, honeymoon stage lang, para naman uh, ang mga tao ay magkaroon ng drive na magtrabaho ng maigi. Kasi parang mararamdaman nila na, okay, paano ba ito? Diba? Hindi ko na naman pala mabibili ulit yung dapat kong ulit para sa pamilya ko. Hindi ko na naman pala mapapaaral. Kulang na naman pala magbayad ng tuition. So, uh, if there's anything that I could recommend in terms of the system in California, in terms of uh, work or work culture, um, I'd like to share it. And you can probably ask me some questions and I'll try to answer that. Okay? Maraming salamat po. Thank you.